day. It's your funeral. Hail it, but there is still adventure to be had. So join me. If not, then I bid you fair warning. Your journey sh goodbye. the mountainside, through the hollows and green meadow, through the summer, winter, day and night, through the hallowed halls of seasons and song, through the vengeance, pride and sorrow, echo the footfalls of the grief of the Fae Hunter. Tuatha on the run. Good work. Plus, it's much more pleasant here without Gadflo bellowing at me from all corners. But enough pleasantry. Are you prepared for your reunion with Ventrinio? Very forthright of you. I'm sure he'll be very reasonable. He probably won't even ask why you're back from the dead. Just make sure he lives long enough to get us into Alabastra. And you can count on my help. Of course, this is bound to be informative. I'm just disappointed I never had a chance to see the original Well of Souls. I believe our new friend has a disturbing part of living shadow to open. Make it quick. I hope you're ready for this. I believe our new friend. This island smells like death. Stay behind me. Whatever that gnome's been up to, it looks like he's made a few enemies in the process. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you didn't turn out like those. Just as Hughes thought, then Trinio used the same walls from their old lab. This will be quick. Follow me. And the energy from the Well of Souls is overwhelming. Damn it! What's wrong? And why are there so many lads? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like our rat is caught in a trap. I'm sure he'd be happy to help whoever saves him. <laughs> A 
we'll get trapped up there too. Here's where we part ways. I'll stop the lads at the stairwell. You get upstairs and retrieve Ventrinio. Shouldn't be hard to find him. Keep moving up and follow the cowardly shrieking. I'll hold this staircase. A new source of power? What sort of nonsense is this? If anything had come in here, my detection spells would have... Wait. Who's down there? Show yourself! Who you are? Get up in! Keep to stabilizing the well. what I get for using all those soldiers. I never should have let them keep their souls. <laughs>
When you get up here, try not to look directly into the well. It can be a little upsetting. Damn it! Hurry! Before the whole well starts to collapse. your time, didn't you? God damn it! Ever since the Baylor was defeated, the chaos magic sent the well off its alignment. You show up, and now the Laz are... Wait. What? It's you. You're alive. But I saw you die. You can't be serious. This is my life's work. Don't you remember what we went through to build this? Why, you even got yourself killed in Alabastra for this. We had more than enough Prismere, but you wanted to track down the power source behind it all. Even if it meant sneaking right under Gadflow's nose. I spent days trying to recover your body, but I never expected to find you alive, or for you to return. Speaking of which, how did you return, anyway? What? That's impossible. You were attuned at this well. You've never even set foot in his lab. Ha! <laughs> Hughes is a joke. He doesn't have the stomach for this work. Don't try waking the dead if you're not ready to make a few corpses, I say. But the well is coming down around us. Quick! we have got to slow the energy and shut this thing down. And don't... Oh, damn it all! Here they come! Hold them off! The Laz are here! Hold them off while I try to stop the flow of energy to the well. Ignore the rumbling. Focus on the lads. <laughs> At all. But uh, <laughs> at least we're still alive. Once again, I triumph over death itself. 
Going back into Alabastra? Well, I still have a way in, but it's more dangerous now than the last time we went. I'll need more prisoner if I'm to rebuild the well. And I suppose I owe you something for saving my life. Perhaps this talisman can help you. It's a little something I salvaged from the debris. It might just help against whatever killed you the first time. We got in with a little help, of course. See, it's all because of Callus Dren, the defender of pride. In his house, no one can stand before him. None can even approach, unless you have my little secret. Patience, patience. You'll have it soon enough. I'm going to have to dig it out of the rubble of the tower. Go to the field of Huber, and I'll meet you there. And if you value your life, do not approach Dren. Just go to the field of Huber and wait for me. I know the type. Lucky youth peeked early, then crawled into a bottle and waited to die. I'm impressed you dragged him away from that bottle, but I wouldn't expect him to do any heavy thinking. You mean your deadly little shadow? I know her type. All smiles now, but it's just so she can get close enough to stick her knives in you. After an unfortunate incident with the Templars, Octian decided to move my work someplace a little further from the public eye. We both felt that an island in another land behind the front lines of a war might just be far enough from prying eyes. The Well of Souls is a noble project. Yes, sacrifices have been made, laws have been broken, people have died and they will continue to die. Don't you see? That's exactly what I'm trying to prevent. How many have died in this war? Thousands. The bodies are shoulder deep in the battlefields, but for trying to cure it, they call me a monster? Dren, defender of pride. One of twin defenders, quite powerful in their homes. But did you know they were also entirely immune to each other's powers? And it seems the defender of valor quite disappeared when her house fell. Imagine how useful she would have been if she were here today. Simple bone soldiers, easy enough for any decent mage to build and animate. They're not really alive any more than a puppet is. Gadflow's got an empire built on Prismere. Think of all the power he's sitting on. And he's wasting it on swords and bows. My name is Ventrinio Dessalini, and I am Professor Emeritus Abscondus of Postmortem Studies at the Edessa University. Of course, that was all before I began work on the Well of Souls. Such an important undertaking doesn't leave much time for other pursuits, you know. We needed tremendous quantities of Prismere to fuel the well, but it's almost unheard of outside of Alabastra, so we had to sneak in to gather our own. Octian, the man lacked vision. Can you believe all he wanted was his own personal immortality machine? Such a narrow-minded goal for a Templar. Still, he wasn't squeamish about what had to be done in order to develop the well. I suppose he paid well, too, if you'd consider that any reason to pursue the sciences. You don't remember it? Well, why dredge up the past? After all, you're fine now, aren't you? You're... you're not the type to hold a grudge, right? You were my assistant in the well, and a damned good one at that. Octian hired you personally, said you were especially resourceful, and left it at that. I didn't know anything about you before you worked for me, and I knew better than to ask. 
You didn't like talking about yourself. Actually, you didn't like much of anything. Honestly, you were a terror to be around. But you've changed. I can tell. Before you died, you would never have been this diplomatic. You probably would have knifed me for answers by now. Oh, oh, speaking of which, you left this in your room before you died. Take it, take it. We were in Alabastra, and I never thought it'd be dangerous. At least, not very. Oh, don't give me that look. Accidents happen. You can't make an omelette without leaving a few corpses. Fine. We were collecting pris- I tried to st I spent days trying to get your corpse back. Posh, name them after an old nursery rhyme. A horrible, messy, ugly place. Get going. And remember, don't go near Dread until I get- Crazy sister Zelda. <laughs> May I help you? Be careful out there. I need a drink. Mm. Welcome. What do you need today? The Alpha and the two author have been... each other's throats for nearly a decade now. I can't... ...remember the reason. Come see me again.
Any luck finding Ventrinio and his big secret? And it looks like they're not far behind you. If you were anyone else, I'd try to stop you. As it is, I'll just wish you good luck. This can't end here. Sometimes one soldier can do what he You haven't tried approaching, have you? No, of course you haven't. You're still alive. This took a little longer to find than I had hoped, but it should be exactly what you need. Dren had a twin in the summer court, Dith the Defender of Valor. They were both entirely immune to each other's power. She faded when the House of Valor fell, but my early experiments with the Well of Souls provided a quite useful little surprise. You see, when trying to draw life energy from the ether, I captured her essence and bound it into this charm. With this, you will be immune to Dren's power. Now be fair, Fey don't have souls as mortals do. They are a form of magic with a physical form. And I only got a little of it anyway. Just enough for a certain degree of immunity to Dren's power. It only works for one person, but it'll be enough for you to reach him. Trouble is, he'll be immune to your power as well. But I'm sure you can think of something. With the essence of valor, you can now go shut. Turn back or die. Bold words. The same bold words that your ally spoke, and they lie around us now. I made an oath to protect my house and my homeland. No power short of death can keep me from fulfilling my duties. I know your intentions are to free my people from the Tuatha. You seem an honorable sort. You even bear the blessing of my sister. But I have sworn an oath to defend my house and homeland. I cannot let you in without a fight, and you cannot win against me. If only things could be different. If only the Tuatha were gone and my sister was back. I shall never yield. Fight each other until the mountains wear away, but that will aid nothing. My sister and I were chosen to protect our kind. So long as our houses stood, the Fey would never pass from this world. I in pride, and she in valor. We never imagined that our houses could crumble beneath our feet. Mortals led to the collapse of my sister's house, but with Gadflo's help, they shall not have mine. He may taint pride with his Prismere and his obscene god, but it will keep us eternal.
I cannot yield. But if your true intent is to stop Gadflaw, then perhaps there is a way my house and my honor could remain pure. If you would promise to spare the House of Pride, then we could put aside our powers and have an honest battle. Win, and your army may pass. If this is the only way to secure a chance for my house's untainted survival, then so be it. If you should win, then destroy the Tuatha in my house and the hateful witch knight Myrna. Then we can be truly free. Oh, my God. 
Halt! Part if you would be so kind as to have a word with us. I have been chosen by the remaining members of our house to speak for all. We were most honored by your intention to free us. We are in seclusion, so it's best to observe this situation without any unnecessary interference or risk to ourselves. I assure you, we will be more than happy to assist you in Alabastra. Loath as we are to get our hands dirty in this scuffle, perhaps we can offer a more indirect assistance. Simply carry forth and destroy Witch Knight Myrna, and her dreadful Prismere Chantry, of course. We eagerly anticipate your success. child of dust. You've killed the immortal defender and liberated a house full of arrogant backstabbers. I shall thank you for exposing the disloyal amongst my kin. But then, I have so much to thank you for. Pride? Their betrayal was inevitable. But soon you faced the House of Vengeance. Their loyalty to Tiernok is absolute. Pure. Instinct. The Goddess of Mercy awakens. And with every step you take into my homeland, she comes that much closer to walking our world and purging your kind. So, welcome to Alabastra. It shall be the death of you once more. We've seen our champion bested, our advantage lost, and our minds are cleared. Bravo to you, champion. House of Pride, in our ineffable wisdom, renounces the Tuatha and demands that you accept our immediate surrender. Your army is welcome here. We trust our benevolence will be well remembered should Gadflow be dethroned. We thank you kindly, and our mages have already been assisting your army in their march into Alabastra. We trust you do not object. Most excellently spoken. You have the commanding presence of a young Aegon, who once also bore the pleasure of our august company. Allow us to welcome you to Alabastra. We trust your visit will be... eventful. Sidon is a fay of noble tradition. He would never raise a hand against the High King, just as he would never bow before the Tuatha. We have been gifted with so much. It's only proper that we are also immortal, so as to put our gifts to the most use. Conversely, poor children of dust have so little, but are given barely a moment to live. 
How kind the world is. How Gadflo came to command such respect is beyond even our wisest. He was little more than a jester at the Winter Court. But he said he found the voice of Tirnok, and she led him to power. And it seems he was correct. As the Fae are above mortals, the House of Pride reigns above their fellow Fae, sharing our wisdom, our grace, and our humility. Myself? Why, this one is merely the lowest rank of our house, and yet we have been chosen as the speaker for the Fae of Pride. To us falls the honor of acting as liaison to your mortal army. Your charming, well-bred, and simply lovely army. The Tuatha bred in our lands before we realized what change they truly represented. Certainly we all share a distaste for mortals, but few of us ever hunted them. Vengeance is such a sloppy, boorish house. Marvelous fighters, of course, but simply crude. They all feel that the world has wronged them somehow. And perhaps it did. How else would they end up in such a hateful house? Pride opened its gates and welcomed us as honorary champions. They say it's simple hospitality, but I suspect we have you to thank. Now is the difficult part. We can hold Chloricon, even push a little into Alabastra, but we don't have the forces to mount a siege on Gadflow. Alabastra is a maze of valleys. Gadflow's remaining faithful would spot an army moving together, and the valleys would be the death of us. But where an army would fail, the five of us can triumph. If we slip it up, we can travel faster and catch them unaware. We will at the House of Vengeance, on Gadflow's doorstep. From there, we strike at Bale, the heart of his empire. More than you'd think. But I promise I'll explain it all to you. Maybe once Gadflow's dead. I'm sure you know more about it than I do. After all, you were here last. That's where we'll find Gadflow, and where we'll put an end to this whole war. I hope you're ready. This time. Sidon's band of merciless fay with lifetimes of training and everything to fight for? Yes, I think they'll be quite useful allies indeed. I've heard tales of his work, half trickster, half spirit of vengeance. Danistar is almost perfectly defended. Ventrinio could keep an army off of its shores. Good thing we found another way there. He's a worm, but a useful one. Octian took quite a risk setting him up in Cluricon. Must have made a lot of deals to keep him safely hidden away. I'll see you in Alabastra. Hope you've got better luck this time, eh? much for support.
supplies, but you're welcome to them. Agarth wanted me to keep an eye on Lady Shear, but you and I need to have a talk first. I've been reviewing my notes of our last trip to Alabastra, and I've come to some startling conclusions about your death and Tiernok. I don't know exactly, but it must have been a tremendously powerful source of magic. So powerful that the Well of Souls couldn't help but pick up on it. You were attuned to the well in my lab, but Hugh's well captured your essence. The power in Bale seems to have been the missing element. What's more, I think that power is the source of the Prismere Crystals. Something intelligent and malignant. The creature the Tuatha called Tiernok. Something incredibly powerful. I don't know if we even have a name for what she is. Because no one's lived to name it. She's not a god. She's something much, much worse. And judging by the growth of this Prismere... She's very close to coming into our world for good. Whatever Gadflow's been doing, it's all in order to bring her here. So you've got to stop him before it's too late. With tremendous difficult magic which you provide... Thank <laughs> you. 